Cardinals outlast the Eagles. Battle of the Birds, 24-20, improving to 6-1 and in the season. Jody Jackson, Bertrand Berry, Glenn Parker, and now joined by Antonio Cromarty, who had two interceptions today. His first two as an Arizona Cardinal. Welcome, Antonio. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. You know, this game was obviously huge. A another test, you always want to win your home games, of course. But Bruce Arians kind of talked about how this one didn't really go according to plan. He actually shouldered some of the blame, the game plan. I think he meant particularly offensively. But how much did this game in the second half change as far as the adjustments you had to make? Well, I think the, the biggest thing is the field position change. You know, uh, you know, we was defense was going to have it back to the wall. Uh, you know, offense when moving the ball like we, like we were in the first half. And, uh, you know, I think the biggest thing that we did was making sure that they didn't get any points out of it. And uh, when you can do that, I mean, it, it speaks what kind of defense that we can be. If we if we put that defense together for 60 minutes, we haven't played a 60 minute game at all this whole entire season. So, Antonio, talk about that first interception in the red zone. Great play, by the way. And w what did you see from Nick Foles? Because it looked as if you were trying to bait him a little bit to, to <laughs> make that pass. And, you know, you're a vet. You, you, you know how to bait a quarterback. You, you've done it a time or two in your career. But just kind of walk us through that play and what you saw and how you were able to make that play. Well, honestly, it actually was just a play recognition. We knew uh, any time that they went three by one, they put Macklin at number two. We knew exactly what we was going to do. I was actually post was actually in a uh, cover four and uh, – no, I wasn't even worried about the outside guy. I think the outside guy was a tight end. I just ran uh, to, to Macklin and tried to make a play on the ball. Week after week, we talk about uh, this secondary, the depth, having to plug new guys in, mm -hmm. a lot of different names. Take us through that a, a week of preparation. How, knowing that there's going to be different guys, what about this coaching staff? How do they put in this game plan that you guys all seem to be on the same page week in and week out? Well, it's just guys are just taking into all the detail, understanding what we're trying to do as a defense and on the back end, you know, We've been burned a couple times, you know, uh, you know, on the back end. And, you know, you got to take pride into what you do every single day that we step on the football field. And, um, you know, and you got to look at it and you got to look at yourself in the mirror and make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do. You got to be accountable for yourself and everybody that's on the football field. I think the young guys are starting to understand that and starting to trust in the guys that's around them and understand that they can go out and go play at a very high level. When you look at the embarrassment of, of talent that you guys have in the secondary, to lose to Patrick Peterson in the first half, how did you respond in being one of the elder statesmen on the field as far as the secondary is concerned? Did you take it upon yourself to become the leader and, and really shoulder that responsibility throughout the rest of the game? Well, I think, honestly, I think everybody just shouldered everything. You know, uh, you, when you lose a guy like Patrick Peterson, everyone has to step up their game on the back end. And I think Gerard Powers, uh, Tyron, uh, Rashad, uh, T. Jefferson, and those guys, and they are, you can, and we all make sure that we did what we were supposed to do. Um, you know, we let one play get down the field after, you know, after a punt, uh, or after the turnover, actually. And they, you know, but we came back and made sure we kept fighting. And uh, that's what you have to try to do on the, on the back end and make sure guys are doing what they're supposed to do and uh, not, not giving up on what, you know, on each other, make sure that we protecting the, uh, t protecting the touchdown like we're supposed to. Let me get to the fun stuff, though. All right, so lead me through your emotions. That last play, ball's in the air, and then the emotions <laughs> after it's ruled out of bounds. <laughs> well, honestly, they ran uh, eight, uh, eight, seven uh, switch route. It's basically a pick route at, in the end zone. Um, usually when they're running that play, they're running the Dino routes, basically double post. Um, and they changed it up at the end. Actually, me, uh, Cooper, Riley, and Tom Rui all ran into each other, and the guy actually became open. Um, but what they did was they ran a wheel route with the tight end to that left. Rashad Johnson at, deep in the end zone to make, try to make a play on the ball. And when you see a guy catch the ball, you just like, man, I hope he's out of bounds. So, <laughs> uh, you no, know, Rashad made a heck of a play on that, and we know we're, we're fortunate and we're blessed to uh, have another win at home. I want to ask you about the last, you know, it seemed like, again, I, I mentioned this earlier in the show, endless number of plays that they were able to run in a short amount of time when you're dropping back at passing every single play, timeouts both ways. But, Antonio, when you look at what this defense does with Todd Bowles and Coach Arians reinforced it, we're going to blitz, it's who we are, we'll go all out. They can do that because of what you and Patrick and the other DBs do. It puts pressure on you, but that's what makes this defense work, doesn't it, especially in crunch time? Well, we, we, we got to take on the pressure. Um, you know, I think you look at it and you, you take it and you roll, you roll your dice with it. You know, I think with, us, with the secondary that we have and the young guys that we have and uh, the back end that we try to, try to you know, have as a, at the end of the day, we want to make sure we're the best. We want to make sure we're doing what we're supposed to do. 
but it's a lot of stuff that we do that we do take in because of what kind of pressure we're trying to run. We're playing a lot of man man coverage, a lot of zero coverage, and we we basically been put out on the island, and we, we accept the challenge. And uh, and that's what that's what you want to do. You want to accept the challenge that the coach gives you, and make sure that you go out and succeed in everything that you do. Thinking about Dallas already, or is it? I'm already on. I actually, I'm already on Dallas. I'm <laughs> I'm actually ready to start breaking my film down uh, for Dallas coming up this week. It's a veteran. You're ready to go, Antonio. Thank you so much for the time. We appreciate it. Uh, thank you.